my name is Matthew Hall. And I bet some of you are already thinking, oh no, not more stuff like this. <laughs> Just one minute, because although I enjoy making all that stuff, I've always felt that I need to do something a bit more serious, a bit more interesting, a bit more global. And this extended project gave me the perfect opportunity to do just that. So welcome everybody to Environment, Global Problem, Local Solutions. In this production I'll be looking at how we look after and enjoy the environment in the UK. Secondly, I'll be looking at the main global environmental problems in three different categories. Problems associated with water, problems on the land and problems in the air. And thirdly, I'll be looking at the solutions, what people are already doing and what we can do in the future to protect our environment. But first, let's have a look at how we look after and enjoy the environment in the UK. Every day in the UK, we look after our environment in small little ways. So just throwing away rubbish that we don't want. That's without throwing it away, everywhere in the UK would just be very messy and covered with litter and other bits of rubbish that we don't want. And we also do recycling every day. Many of us now have recycling boxes like this outside our house, which are collected at least once a fortnight. Also back at home, many of us also have our own garden, like the one that I'm standing in now. You looking after these does actually help look after the environment as these small little areas around the country add up to help cover quite a large area that the environment is looked after. Of course, gardens can also be used for our own personal entertainment and pleasure, such as having a nice barbecue in the summer. A large number of us in the UK also enjoy bird watching, which is going out into the countryside and seeing scenes like this. Alternatively, you can just go for a walk in the countryside. And let's face it, in the UK, we love waking up to scenes that look like this, where we just go out into the environment and enjoy ourselves by throwing snowballs at each other and making snowmen. Many of us also tune in to watch these guys destroy the environment by burning up fossil fuels in very fast cars, or sometimes in very slow rubbish ones. The good news is that with God's help we can stop global warming. In a world where tails stop wagging, sticks don't get fetched, and chew toys stay dry, one man dares to step forward and declare, I can get to the root of your dog's depression. Many of us in the UK also spend holidays or short breaks in national parks, which are areas designated by the government where the environment is to be protected. A national park can be defined as an area of beautiful and relatively wild countryside, and they have two main aims, to preserve and enhance an area's natural beauty, and to promote people's enjoyment of the countryside. In this video, I'll be focusing on the Snowdonia National Park in North Wales, which is the largest national park in the UK and many people come here every year to enjoy themselves on their holidays. And today I'm going to be helping people enjoy their holiday in the Snowdonia National Park by stewarding on a train on the Festinrog Railway. These are the good times in your life So put on a smile, it'll be alright These are the good times in your life So put on a smile, it'll be alright
cards are meant to be enjoyed by everyone. So, with a train ride for an Ash Mark isn't your cup of tea, there are of course many other options. The reason why I say there are many other options is that when national parks were first designated as areas where the environment needs to be protected by the UK government after World War II, it was decided that these places should be enjoyed by all kinds of people who want to do different types of things. So for example, I've got a load of leaflets here that I picked up on my last trip to Snowdonia. So to give you some idea of the different options available, this is, uh, for example, a leaflet for an indoor climbing and activity play centre. So you can go there if it's raining, if you're a child. Uh, this is a leaflet for an Italian-style village called Port Merion, which you can stay in uh, if you're prepared to pay a large amount of costs. And you can also go walk around and enjoy all the rose gardens. Uh, that is another railway one, in fact, but it's a railway museum, so again, no museum if it's wet and uh, nothing else to do, which it will in North Wales. Uh, this is a high rope centre, which you can go and enjoy for a day. And it's also another climbing centre. That is a leaflet for going to visit a lake and enjoying pubs and restaurants nearby. Uh, this one is a leaflet for going to uh, climb up Snowdon. And there's another high ropes course one here, and also another climbing centre, and it is also a uh, zip wire location. So yeah, another one to go and enjoy yourself in all the mountains. And again, another. And this is a multi-activity one. This is uh, kayaking, climbing, uh, caving, and that is another full day you can have in a national park. There are also many things in national parks which you can do, which aren't any of those leaflets that I've picked up. Such as quad biking, horse riding, or if it happens to be a nice sunny day, going to the beach. Yes, in North Wales there are beaches. Trust me.